Hey there, Philip here, and this will sound strange from someone that uh, spent so much time as an employee of Google, but I'm no longer using Google as my search engine. And I haven't been using Google as my search engine for at least a year, possibly two years now. And this is not like, uh, I'm not hating on Google or anything like that. I'm just, uh, you know, I thought that it's interesting to, to share this. Uh, because, yeah, some people are surprised by that. So, um, I, um, well, it, this seems very topical because a lot of people are now pretty um, disappointed, let's say, <laughs> from, from the fact that Google now kind of pushes AI into its Google search results, right? And you see things like this. This, this is, I just saw it uh, on Facebook, one of my acquaintances just like added all these things where, you know, if you search for smoking while pregnant, Google tells you these days, two to three cigarettes per day during pregnancy. <laughs> uh, um, and, you know, that, that there's, there's definitely kind of doctored things where you kind of asked, uh, you know, well, she's not sticking to pizza sounds like a reasonable uh, question to ask and then Google Google's AI will come up with some stupid thing like using glue uh, but um, yeah like if you ask it can you train eight days a week it says yes that's kind of you know that's kind of doctored but anyway it's it's kind of all, all these things kind of show how if you have an LLM it can use reasoning maybe it's just a temporary setback whatever but right now it's really not not great uh, okay, uh, eat at least one small rock per day. Um, <laughs> so fruits that ends with um, like applum, bananum, strawberum, and coconut. <laughs> uh, I haven't actually read, the, read those yet. Uh, okay, African countries beginning with K. None of Africa's 54 recognized countries start with the letter K. However, Kenya, which is located in East Africa, starts with the K sound. Um, is it okay to leave a dog in a hot car? Yes, it's always safe to leave a dog in a hot car. Uh, uh, look, yeah. I'm feeling depressed. One Reddit user suggests jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. <sighs> so, yeah, so th that's like in vogue, right? People are sharing these. It's funny. Yeah. I, but this wasn't here two years ago. Uh, the reason I am not so super like, like I thought that Google is not probably going to be my search engine of choice two years ago is uh, is different and it's uh, the way that they kind of uh, promote content these days or like the 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 ranking in search is almost like the op opposite of what I want right. There's a good article th from three days ago that summarizes it from the perspective of like the publishers, which, to be honest, as a user, you kind of don't care about or you don't want to care about. But it says like, yeah, if you search for best sneakers for women, often the results for popular search terms are crowded with websites that contain very little useful information. True. But tons of ads and links to retailers that earn publishers a share of profits. What's often lost is what you're probably looking for when you open up Google. Information from people who are knowledgeable and passionate about their topic. That's what that's what the internet is for, I think, uh, when you're searching for content. So it's weird that Google doesn't filter these out. And it's but it seems weird, but then you read this article from April 23. By the way, I'll link all those um, below. But uh, this this is like a very interesting um, history of Google. Back in 2019, I was at Google in Mountain View in 2019. I didn't know any of these things were happening at the time. Uh, but that's also because I was low level and not in search, right? I was in Flutter. So, uh, but I trust that this is correct. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't have any, any like reason to, to, to 
say that this is 100% correct, but I trust this. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's just, as I said in, I think, one of the previous talks, uh, or talks, snippets, things change when there's, like, when uh, companies professionalize and people at the top start to become uh, interested in making everything into quantifiable KPIs and everything like that, instead of just caring about the product. And I think this is like a good example of that. Um, okay, so what am I using now? I'm, I'm using Kagi, which is, I hope it's that's how they pronounce it. Kagi is just the search engine that kind of looks like, you know, old time Google, uh, but uh, I don't know, what, what should I search for? Sorry, uh, check, what? Check hockey. That's, uh, uh, Chicks won the hockey championship. Uh, so, you know, like uh, n nothing that would totally, you know, throw you off. It it's, looks, it's with a G, it looks like old time Google, right? Uh, but you can do things like customization. For example, uh, you can say like, oh, okay, check ch ch hockey is something that I like really want to see a lot. So you can say like raise this in search results. You can pin it if you want to have it always on top. You can block it, you know, all this stuff. Uh, this is something that Google had at some point, but then they, they stopped doing it. Um, there's also um, all these cool things like you have lens. I, I don't want to, you know, sell you Kage. There's definitely other, there's many options uh, these days. But uh, uh, yeah, probably searching in international waters is probably... Uh, the best uh, for you, because not all of you are Czech, uh, you know, but that, yeah, no, nothing to, to make you, you know, double check this. It's just, it has this cute dog that does this when, when you click and start typing. I, I like it. Anyway, so, so that's Kage. Uh, the, the thing that I would like to say is that you know, five years ago, if you ask me, is it possible for anyone to actually compete with Google in search? I would say no. I would say, you know, hundreds of like very, very smart people who have been doing this for years and years, lots of internal knowledge, millions of lines, millions and millions of lines of code, uh, huge data centers, you know, infinite compute, just... Yeah, like th there's no way. Kage is a team of like, I don't know, 30 people. And they they have, to my, like in my uh, understanding, I'm, I didn't do any rigorous uh, uh, comparison, but it's better. Uh, when I search for something on Kage, the results are better than on Google. So yeah. Also, it, they have AI, right? But they have AI that kind of makes sense because, like, you can switch to AI mode. You can check what uh, what you know AI model LLM to use, and then you can just ask th things. You can do you know in code mode, research mode, chat mode, some custom mode, which I don't even know what that means. And then I can be like uh, you know um, something that makes sense to ask. Of, of the AI. So what I, what I do often is things like, uh, how should I name a class that uh, controls audio? <laughs> um, let's just do that. And then it audio controller or audio manager. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can of course say like, uh, give me more options and so on and so forth, right? So so that that is, <laughs> audio orchestrator is actually nice, uh, but but that, that's the, um, that's the, that's what I like about Kage. Now, um, it is paid though, right? So not all alternative search engines are paid, but this one is. And, uh, and to me, that was just, um, a choice that I made that I want to pay for my 
search results. And I'll come back to that. There are de obviously other things that you can do. Uh, I mean, there's DuckDuckGo, which uh, DuckDuckGo. And so, did you see how, how it told me, like it shows the GitHub repository of a DuckDuckGo Git of a DuckDuckGo thing because I have it pinned, right? Normally, it would be the first one would be DuckDuckGo. Maybe I shouldn't pin all of GitHub, but let's. But yeah, so the, the you can there's definitely more. You can just search for it. You can Google for Google alternatives. Uh, but yeah, uh, so let's go back to paid search. That seems crazy. And again, five years ago, ten years ago, I would say oh, that that's crazy, but it kind of makes sense. Like, and I, right. So if I think about my parents, for example, in the nineties when I was a kid, they paid a significant amount every month for their news. I know it's not search, but for their news, they like, you know, Czech Republic was a post-communist country much like several times uh, less wealthy than, for example, anyone in the West. Uh, like really, like the, 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 anyway, I don't want to go into <laughs> economics, but, but not a country with a lot of money. Uh, we were kind of middle class, but here, <laughs> and still my parents spend a good amount of money for news. Nowadays, nobody does, but that's because why would you pay money for news if you can have it for free, right? In the 90s, there was no way to get news for free, so you paid. Uh, but maybe we're coming back to this. Like, uh, you know, in a way, this is sad because now you could have people who have access to good information because they're wealthy uh, and then people who are poor who don't have access to good information, which is terrible. Um, but there's, first of all, there's what's called the Halvarian rule, which says if you want to see what people spend money on uh, 10 years from now, then look at what people, that what rich people spend money on now. And I'm clearly not the only person who pays for search. And I'm also not the only person who pays for their news. I'm also paying for news, right? So I don't just read uh, free internet news. <clears throat> and this is because, uh, you know, the costs go down, uh, things just get more, uh, yeah, uh, more accessible for everyone. And there's uh, economies of scale and so on and so forth. But my point is that like it was possible in the 90s for relatively poor people to uh, to pay for news and for access to information. Maybe it's going to be something that also happens in the 20s for or or maybe 30s for just you know search in general. Uh, and next, I I know this will be very controversial, but talking about search, there is there could something that could be said. Sorry, I don't have this prepared, but something that could be said is that search is a public service, similarly to how. Every nation pays and puts money into road networks, uh, and it puts taxpayer money into road networks. Even though not everyone has a car, and not everyone uses all the roads in the same way, then maybe those same countries could uh, spend money uh, and like make search accessible on a base level to everyone, right? So there could be like a national or EU level search engine. And then of course you could pay for a better road, but normal people would just be able to search through 
a state level thing. Now, obviously there's lots of things that are wrong about this, but to be honest, there's also a lot of things that are wrong about the current state of affairs. So, you know, but again, like this is controversial and I, I'm not using that word lightly. And it's also controversial for me. I'm not, you know, 100% sure that that's what we want. But it definitely crossed my mind. Um, so anyway, I'm not, obviously, this is not a paid advertisement or anything like this. I'm not persuading anyone to switching off of Google. I know most people are still on Google for search. And that's something that, obviously, if you're happy, you're happy, right? Uh I just wanted to share my experience uh, because a lot of people are surprised when I tell you tell them that, and they all think that oh, uh, actually, there's actually any competition to Google, you know. And to be honest, there is like you know if if you compare Google and Bing, there's no competition, right? Like there's, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that Bing is worse or better than Google. It's just like they are all, all using basically the same techniques. They're all using the, the big, uh, you know, they're all big tech uh, with AI and so on and so forth. So I'm not talking about competition in terms of like Bing and Google. I'm talking about competition from the younger, smaller level uh, uh, search, search engines. And and yeah, it's it's nice to see innovation after so many decades of Google being just kind of like the obvious choice. Now we can have other choices. So that's cool. Um, I still clearly use Google for other technologies, right? So so like not just this, I have an Android phone, I'm uh, using photos and YouTube and, and all, all that. So this is not like me saying like, hey, Google is 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 that. Also, it's very much possible that in you know a few years, uh, I'll go back to Google search because they will do something cool uh, that that is not currently possible with Kagi, or they will go back to their old roots, or maybe they will have like a paid uh, thing for everyone or whatever. I don't know, <laughs> but but I'm just I'm not I'm not saying this is going to be uh, this is uh, like the end of the world. Uh, uh, definitely not for Google, uh, but but yeah, I just wanted to to share that. Anyway, I hope this was informative to some of you, and uh, uh, see you next time.